Today in the grain markets, soybeans were mixed. Nothing to offer underlying support that makes it very difficult for the market to uh, really get a lift. Normally we would see that at this time of year. The Brazilian real is really at a new low, uh, hence that means that China continues to buy their soybeans from uh, Brazil that, that uh, again really leaves our uh, exports uh, at a, you know, just at a loss right now. And I think that it continues to decline any kind of exports. These are the lowest commitments uh, to the forecast ratio that we've had since 1991. So that gives you a little bit of reference on where we are. Uh, right now, funds are short 18,000 contracts right now. The U.S. dollar, even though it was lower today, is still very strong at, at 100 even. I mean, these are uh, unbelievable numbers and that is also making it very difficult really for all the grain exports. Uh, corn did fall hard. I mean, the demand destruction is uh, plentiful. Uh, right now, uh, planting is moving ahead. Uh, the cattle on feed report just showed that uh, the placements were uh, really lower than they expected, even from last year. I think it's at uh, like 77%. Uh, that makes uh, the feed demand uh, even lower. So it's difficult for corn and it's starting to you know, be in a hurry to get to that $3 mark, even on the June contract. So we have to, you know, watch that closely because the, the market is really giving up here. Uh, wheat uh, was a little bit lower. I think that better weather all around the world is affecting that market. And sure, certainly there's been some rain in uh, Russia and, and uh, the Black Sea and Ukraine. Uh, also, the weather is much better here. There's, they're really moving along on the spring wheat planting and uh, all those things really put pressure on the market. So uh, we're going to be day to day, but we're still like watching the weather and really getting involved in more fundamental issues, even with the uh, expanding virus or even the opening of the economy is not having that much of an effect on the grain market. Uh, and I don't expect it to, at least for the foreseeable uh, short term future for this week.